I'm Heather Rogers. I am currently a student majoring to be a medical lab technician. Uh, it's my fourth year of college. Um, I, as soon as I get my degree, I'll be able to work in a hospital, work at a police station doing forensics, or I can work at a research firm. So Heather, tell me, what is it about what you do that makes you unique compared to other people that do similar things? I think that most people just do what they have to do to get by, but I have an interest in the human body, so to speak. And with the knowledge that I get from this, I can also take it somewhere else if I ever, you know, in the event, get bored with what I'm doing. Is there a reason for this? I mean, do you, is there a certain thing or a reason why you have such an interest that other people might not have the same interest? There's no particular reason other than the fact when I was in fifth grade, you know, my uh, science teacher had us watch videos on the human body, x-rays, and one of the things that we got to do was dissect the sheep's eye. Oh yeah, I remember yeah. that. You know, that's and so cool. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's where I got my interest from it. And you know, going through school all those other years, I didn't really pick up on anything, you know, have an interest in much of anything else, so I kind of stuck with this. And that's where I, you know, got my interest to do what I'm doing now. And you're doing this uh, here in Cali, yes, Texas? Yes, yes. And you're going to school for this? Yes. At? CTC or Central Texas College. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, um, how does this tie in socially? I think it'll help, you know, with new cures and people can be more socially inclined to, you know, be more like their friends, you know, it'll help with fertility issues down the line if I decide to work at a research firm. Um, and it'll give way to new advancements and to, you know, new cures and stuff like that. Well, Heather, let me ask you this. If, if someone else or anybody else was thinking about getting involved in what it is that you're doing, would you have any advice or anything that you could tell them about it? Yes, I, you really have to have an interest in it to really be into it, to have a passion for it. Most importantly, if you want to do this type of thing, my major suggestion is to, you know, one, do your research. Make sure you do all your prerequisites ahead of time and you want to shoot for the highest grade possible because it's a very competitive program and they only take the top people. So if there's 25 people in there, you're gonna have 24 people competing against you and you really wanna be on top of your game. Awesome. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Okay. The, the same thing I ask a lot of people um, anywhere we do the interview, um, and I think it's, it's, it's pretty interesting. Let me ask you, I mean, it's very exciting what you do, don't yeah. get me wrong, but what is it that you do when you're not doing this? Um, I usually just stay on my computer. Sometimes I'll watch movies in my room, lock myself up. <laughs> Nobody really, you know, hears from me anymore. <laughs> um, I'll sleep, you know. Sometimes I'll go to the store around the corner of the house, just in walking distance. But other than that, I live a pretty boring life <laughs> for now. <laughs> what makes you think it's so boring? Mm, you know, Gotta have some adventure, you know, get into a little trouble every now and then. Not me, I stay in my room, cut the world off. <laughs> you just you just go mischievous on the internet. <laughs> um <laughs> nah. nah. Okay, okay. <laughs> when you're going after um this line of work, mm -hmm. you know, which is gonna fit in with humanity right. and it's it's obviously very very beneficial. Do you expect, or, well, let me just ask you, can someone make a good living at this? Could you make good money? Most definitely. Um, a person in that field makes about 63 k a year. And, you know, with the economy the way it is, you're always guaranteed a job. You know, there's always patients coming in and out of the hospital. You know, there's always some crime needing to be investigated. So if you want to work forensics at a police station, you can do that. And there's always something somewhere needing to be researched. So if you want to work at a research firm, you know, there's always something available, especially in this economy right now. So did you, I mean, I've talked to you on the internet a lot, and yeah. Facebook, and before Facebook, AIM, 
and, and a lot of things for years now. Yeah. And I know that you're like very committed and you're very, very busy. But now, you know, as we're, you know, uh, passing by and we have a chance to interview you, you're not in school right now. It's spring break. So yes. like, what's going on now? You're not doing this. What are you, what are you doing during your time off? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> um, I've been hitting the books real hard since last year, nonstop, literally. Um, if I'm not doing lecture courses, then I'm doing online courses, and there is no break with the online courses. So, I mean, Christmas, Thanksgiving, whatever, you're constantly in the books. So I am not doing anything during spring break right For now. Whole, For a whole week, I will not be looking at not even one little word in the Just rest and like yes. brain massage. Yes. And, and, then, and then you go back to it. Yes. And then uh, when's your next break? Summer time, perhaps. I haven't decided if I want to do summer courses yet or not. So I'm still trying to figure out. Awesome. Right now we're in the backyard. This is like our little pre-garden garden. garden. Um, I kind of like this area because it's secluded. You, you can see everything on the outside, but you can't see in. Um, my grandfather is also an artist. He's a painter. Right here is a couple of paintings that my grandfather's done. You got what? Well, I have to get another one. Right here is another one. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah. So you have a lot of animals around here. That's really cool. I, I, I love animals. Uh, well, there's there's so many. An oh, every every person animals. has uh -huh, every person there's, has an animal, <laughs> and uh, there's a who's this guy? That's Abby. She uh, we got her from a police station. A cop. Um, she was the runner of the litter, but she ended up, in my opinion, of being the better of the dogs because she was trained to hunt. Um, you run from her, she's going to come after you. And it doesn't even matter how much of an advantage we give you, she's still going to come after you. And that's my pet mom over there. Oh, Commando. That's Commando. My pet mom. <laughs> Okay, and this is Shorty. Say hi, Shorty. Hi, Shorty. Hi, Shorty. Okay, and, and this is Meatballs. Meatball. Meatball. And Bella. Yes. And Bella. Say hi. Hi. He was neutered, so he's bad. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> I get permission for Al Perry to use my interview on Wispow, Facebook. Or any other place on the internet. <laughs> um, I would like to give a shout out to Nielsen. <laughs> uh, sorry you couldn't be here. You really yeah, out. where's Ian? Yeah, Ian. Um, thank you for the shirt. I will be rocking this out in chemistry class. So yes, I did do something on spring break. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs>